Um, thank you very much, really. Um, I've made some flyers here, yeah, and we have also some ID cards, um, business cards, yeah. So if you want to know where to find us and what it's all about, yeah. So that's about advertisement. I really don't want to have this using for advertisement only because, yes, I am doing uh, weekends with my dear friend uh, Jeroen in the Netherlands legally with mushrooms. Or it's not only mushrooms, it's uh, psilo, huasca, how I, uh, how I call it. It's a combination of uh, monoamine oxidase inhibiting sauce, in this case, peganum hamala, and uh, mushrooms. Yeah? And we, um, we have the possibility that in uh, the Netherlands we can use klerosia. Uh, they are legally available there, and um, they have the same compound as all the other um, magic mushrooms, ps uh, psilocybin mushrooms, which is psilocybin and psilocin. Um, we also use on these weekends Bufo alvarius toad secretion from uh, toads uh, who, are kept, uh, who are kept in uh, captivity, but they are captive bred, so they are not taken from the wild. They are um, animals who was, were born in Germany, so um, they are also not harmed, they have a big vivarium, and the secretion of these toads is used on the Fridays for a uh, 5-methoxy DMT experience, just as Martin Ball uh, explained it earlier. Though we use the 5-methoxy um, DMT more to get the group together. Uh, we give a dose which is strong enough to have a full-blown, full-release um, experience, but it strongly depends on the circumstances of the person in their life on um, the, the situation in the group, on, on it's, it's so many attached to if you release or not, that it's not only the dose. Surely you can give someone a 20 milligram dose and then that should blow him off, but I've seen people going through 25 and not losing their ego. Yeah? So um, it's not necessarily given that um, you can have a full blown with a higher dose. The dose we give is high enough that you can have one, but you must not. And the magic of the 5-methoxy DMT, and we have also synthetic 5-methoxy DMT, uh, very pure, and um, it's, coming, it's uh, from a, from a um, lab, so it's uh, surely um, man-made, yeah, but um, it's, it's used um, because many people can't ingest as the smoke of, uh, f um, of the toad secretion. Uh, the toad secretion only has 20% of 5-methoxy, so um, it's, it is a lot of uh, smoke, a lot of amount you have to smoke to get the, uh, the specific dose. Some people can't smoke, for them it's easier to, to do the synthetic. So just this uh, uh, about the circumstances. Um, yeah, um, so um, what I really want to talk about is, is mushroom, yeah, mushrooms, psychedelic mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms. Um, I've been uh, connected to mushrooms for over 20 years and I've been growing them. I've grown over 30 different species uh, over the course of the years and I've been working with them with myself and also um, on other people. and. Um, it's, it's not the amount of experience which, which counts, it's how deep you go in one experience. And I am always have been a drug addict, uh, so the more idea is constantly present in my mind. And if you take more mushrooms, then you get uh, to, a, to a point where you, you're not getting what you're having when you get more cocaine, more uh, opiates, more alcohol or more tobacco or anything. It's just different. Um, so on that, in that search for more, uh, 10 years ago, I stumbled upon psilowaska. That means combination of three grams of peganum hamala seeds and um, two grams of very potent uh, Liberty Cap mushrooms. You can also use cubensis mushrooms or other types of mushrooms. It depends how much um, active molecules are in there. It is uh, not only about the psilocybin, but it's mostly about the psilocin. Psilocin is also uh, called 4-hydroxyl-NNDMT. So the NNDMT is what I see in it. 
is the real active compound, is the real thing that takes the action in our brains when we take psilocin. The 4-hydroxyl just tells our, our system, you can let me through to your brain. Yeah, usually many of you will know that if you ingest DMT without the Maui, it's not getting through to your brain, it's uh, docked on by the Mao and it's getting out without being active. So the psilocin has 4-hydroxyl and a DMT and that's what it gets into your brain being active. So the thing is that the psilocin yeah, is not a totally different thing than mushrooms. It's just um, the easy way to have with a small dose to ingest a high outcome, a high potent experience, a very, very strong experience. And that is also why I'm doing this uh, this weekend, is because uh, I personally see that it's really important to not play around with psychedelics. If you have, um, uh, I call them sacraments by the way, um, it doesn't matter how you call them, it, it is just a vehicle to show you what is the truth behind all of this. And this is not the only uh, reality we live in here. So um, I put my paper aside and talk freely, <laughs> that's crap anyway. Um, yeah, so the, the thing is, there are so many ayahuasca sessions taking place. And there was this moment where, uh, where I was just seeing like, there are so many that um, you import the, the vine, you import the uh, DMT plants, you can cook your own DMT in Europe or everywhere in the, in the world meanwhile. And there are so, 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 so many uh, ceremonies being done with ayahuasca. Uh, but, but what is the point to go into the Amazon forest and cut plants down? And you have to kill plants for that. I mean, you can harvest uh, the leaves of the psychotria uh, of the um, of the diploteris, yeah, but still you have to cut the vine to have it um, for cooking down. And the thing is also that if you get all these plants and cook them down, you have this brownish stuff and um, it's disgusting to get down. Honestly, it's really disgusting. And the thing is that it doesn't have to be like this. If you want to have an experience of uh, DMT, of oral active DMT, or uh, an experience of harmalin, you can also go for the pure compound. With peganum seeds, um, nausea is really less likely. So I barely see people having issues with their stomach and three grams of peganum seeds, which is the active, um, which is the amount you have to take um, so uh, Maui is active. Um, so um, why then go through the process of nausea, of uh, you know f throwing it your body out, yeah, um, when it's not necessary? Um, I've I've done myself extractions on uh, DMT sources and and took DMT crystals, and I found that um, it's it's not really necessary to have the the brew. Um, in fact, if you brew the plant down, you have all the plant matter in that. And I mean, you have, yeah, you, you take a bunch of leaves. Would, would you just swallow the leaves? I guess no one would. And, and even with a handful or two, you would stop because you can't take that stuff. And if you concentrate that by cooking it down, you're just doing the same. You, you take all the stuff out of the leaves, there's only some matter left in the end, but you take a lot of stuff out of the leaves which you don't, know, which you don't need. And so we have the one fact that this stuff is coming from the Amazon, yeah? And it does have a sense in the Amazon. I was with Shipibo on an ayahuasca ceremony and it's amazing what these people do, yeah? Um, it's not that I say uh, ayahuasca is a bad thing or it's just, also, I don't want to offend anyone here. Yeah, if you you know am in love with it, just go on with it. I'm just saying the one thing is why take it out of the Amazon, and the second thing is why cook all this stuff down you can't digest easily. So if you have mushrooms which can be easily grown at home by a really really easy process, it's easier than growing plants actually. It just takes a bit of sterility. But you can even have, with uh, specific methods, it's it even easier um, to grow them. And so they're sustainable and it's easy to get them. And the, and the beauty is that psilocin is actually the stronger molecule. If you have a full DMT um, um, experience, you go for four to five, maybe six, maximum, maximum six hours. And the sixth hour means you're, you're you know, having some stuff till you're totally down. 
but with psilocin is you're, you're heading for seven, eight, you know, maybe nine hours till you're coming fully back. So the peak is longer and the overall experience is much, much deeper. Um, there are many people um, who do ayahuasca, just like I said, and it's really common that um, people get re uh, returned to these uh, retreats and on a, on a healing approach, you know, they, they need more healing, you know. There, there was a guy coming to me and says, uh, you know, he had difficulties with uh, smoking toad secretion uh, of a guy of Mexico and um, he got issues and no one was taking uh, care of him so he came to me and asked me, hey, you know, and he told me that the first thing when he, when he said, I have issues with this, you know, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm having really stuff here, you know, that the, the first thing people were saying to him, you need more medicine. Uh, what, what the crap, this guy is having, is having a, a, um, a, a psych, psychic breakdown, yeah? I'm not good with English as you are, my, yeah, so I'm sorry, yeah, but he has, he has a breakdown and people say, take more of that stuff he's just so afraid of. And that is also an approach I have different on the weekends, or we have different on the weekends, is there um, is a combination um, of um, the, the therapeutic approach and a bit of a shaman, shamanic approach, yeah. I, I love to have this uh, Aqua Florida, yeah, all the time, and it's really beautiful stuff. And I may look a bit strange to you, that's just because I love this clothes, they're from Thailand, not from Peru, yeah, but I really, I, I go for an enjoyment of life, and that's what I'm giving people on the weekends also, that, um, it should be fun and it should be a good thing, but it's really important for me that I stay sober, that I am being the person being sober in the background assisting, not guiding necessarily because I'm not saying, I, I don't want people to be guided somewhere. It's more that I assist, that we are assisting people, that we are there, you know, and even if it's only handling a, a bucket or a piece of paper or anything, which is with some people it is only really uh, tiny support because um, because the group is so thick and and the group is um, you know uh, catching up everyone but some people do have difficulties we are even having people who throw up yeah which it's it's strange but it happens some people can't uh, um, can't hold it in and have so much fear that the stuff is coming back not because they're nauseous from the material but it's coming back because they have so much fear in them. And um, so the, the thing I approach on these weekends is that um, there is this, this uh, background of a psychotherapeutic stuff and a, sham a shamanistic use because um, sure we have mushrooms, sure we do, um, we, we hang some stuff in the room, we make it nice, you know, we have tiny rituals, yeah, um, like burning Palo Santo, Agua de Florida, stuff like this. But um, I, I really find important that it's, you know, kept to a minimum. I don't see myself as a shaman, you know, and I, in fact, don't see myself as anything special. I mean, I'm standing, you're sitting, but I can also go to the ground and talk to you like this, because it's just the same. Every one of us has experience of life, and, and what I'm giving here is my experience, and what I'm giving on the weekends is my experience. And some people are good with certain stuff, and I know mushrooms quite well, so I can, I can give people mushrooms and take care of them. But again, I don't, I, I don't guide them. I don't want to have them putting in a specific direction. It is just, you know, and that is what I see so important, that you just giving back up, that you allow people to, to um, experience and express themselves. That doesn't mean people in these ceremonies are crying and going, going loudly crazy. It has to be, you know, um, uh, you have to take care of each other, yeah? And it's, that's why we have also these Fridays, people come together on a Friday night, and then on a Saturday night, um, the, the bondage from, from Friday is needed for this long experience of Psiloasca. So, um, uh, what, what Martin already said, uh, what, what I learned through this experience is that it's on all a non-dual experience. And if I'm saying, if I'm um, sta um, standing here, yeah, and talking about non-duality, this is duality already. And it's, it's really um, different if you have an experience of this than talking about it. And, and everything in, in life, 
comes in duality as long as we are in this form. And um, the beauty is that if you go beyond this duality and, and experience the non-duality and you are being with other people, that somehow what opens in, in all of the group is unconditional love. And um, it's uh, sometimes on, on Friday, uh, when people come together still being strangers, um, everyone has their set of thoughts and their ideas about it. And um, specifically, if they're coming from other retreats and from other um, experiences with uh, sacraments, with antiogens. But um, after, uh, after the weekend, on the, on the Sunday from the Saturday night and from the Friday, from being together, it, it is clearly seen that there is no, um, there is a connection bet between all of us and that, uh, that the, the only boundaries we create between each other is thinking. And, and this is um, then what is the most important thing. I have a look to the clock, yes, okay. Um, the most important thing is what am I getting out of these experiences? Because if I go repetitively to these experiences and think I need more healing, I need more healing, uh, I have to address this thing and this other thing, I personally feel that's not it. Be because most important is that I have this experience and I go really deep and I have, um, I, I, I can't see with my, with my own eyes that there is only one, that in the end, the last things vanishing is the thoughts going away in you. And that then, in the end, you see that this unity between us all is exactly what is missing in daily life. When I'm standing, when I was standing in front of my father, and I hated this guy so much, and I've put him in this box of being my father, being this person who is not behaving like I wanted him to, and who is treating me not like I wanted to be treated, then there was separation. And, and it, was, it, was, it was strange because I love this man. He's my father, and he, he's, done, he's done so much for me, but still I couldn't see that. And after this experience I've had, not 10 years ago, but five years ago, when I repeated the dose I had 10 years ago of Psalaska, I was able, I was ripe, that's what I said in the beginning with the tone also, I was ripe to just have uh, this experience. And when I had it, I just couldn't see him as my father anymore. He was just there. And the thing is, if you don't give others a reason to be them, and just be freely with them and openly and let them do whatever they want to do with you, then, then they, let it, they let it go. They don't behave like it, like they have uh, behaved before. When my father is with me, he's not seeing me in the light. He's, he's seen me all these years. It's pure love and it's so, so funny because he, he now can't get enough of hugs. He can't get enough of kisses. Me too. Yeah, well, it's just like some crazy lovers when we are together. And, and, and that is what is all life is meant. I mean, every one of you has been here so many times and, and comes back so many times. We can't remember, but it is like this. I mean, sorry if I'm sounding like some crazy, I don't know, but this is the experience I've had. And, and I really, if you start to act differently in daily life and start to hear or see what is coming up here. This is old, old learned stuff. This is six to ten years, uh, this is zero to six years mostly. It's the little boy, the little girl you have been. And, and your, your parents treated you like their parents treated them and it's all continuously stuff that we, that, uh, that we learn we are not enough. And, and we are actually, because this is what we are and this is what we get. And it all has a meaning, and it all has a higher sense behind it, and it's a higher plan. And we, uh, we, we go around and walk around and try to make it better. And John Lennon said, life is happening when we make different plans. It's, we are always trying to think about things. And, and all I learned, really, and I'm, I'm realizing, you see, I stand here with you, yeah? And in the same moment, I realized, what the? Crap, are you talking, Oli? You had a concept. Where's your paper? You wanted to sell, blah, 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 blah. But it's crap. I just, I'm so fucking nervous. I can't put it, like, well, and it's crap. So, so I go on and still the voice is like, 
well, Oli, you got to say them this. And, but you see, that, that's the thing. We, we walk around and we, when we listen and we follow. And what I've personally learned is, and that is the rule you can follow, if you're with other human beings, yeah, guess what is not proper in that moment? Thinking. Because what does this biocomputer in here know of being? Nothing. It can think about it. It can have some theories about it. But it doesn't know a thing about what it is to breathe, what it is to, to feel, to... Oh, I mean, I'm sweating. Wow! It's so... It's wet. Great. And I can feel this. I can have my senses living through this. And this is not thinkable. And we trust this guy so, 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 or this girl or whatever, so much that we forget that, that this is a human being, and this is a human being, and this is a human being. And we walk all the time around and judge and put our stuff on them. And guess what? I'm the same crappy person as I have been five years ago. But it's, I'm more in love with it. <laughs> and really, really, people, <laughs> no, no, honestly, honestly, honestly. Take this, this really, it doesn't vanish. And it doesn't vanish if you want to have it vanish. Then you're all the time busy wanting it vanish. And it doesn't. It does not go away. It's a part of you. And, and I always, I can't believe that we are running around wanting to have stuff which we are to have away. It, how is this working? If you, do you want to have your arm cut off? No. So why are you wanting? Why are you following, or why are we following the thought, I don't want this? It, it, it can't work. We, we are absolutely on the failed track if we think we can change the world, or we can change everything. Yeah, but then you go like, but things are changing. Uh, where is the sense in life where I'm not trying to change things? They are sure. But first, accept, fell in love with it, and then it changes. I'm, I'm, I may have the same stuff here, but it's getting lesser and less, but I'm more happy, and that's the difference. I'm more happy, and I'm, I'm not searching for the ultimate cure anymore, and another ayahuasca session, coming back to that what I said before, another ayahuasca session, another mushroom session, yeah? I'm not blaming ayahuasca, I'm just saying it's not about more, 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 more. It's about see what I have, acknowledge what I have, fall in love with what I have, and just, you know, be, and be yourself. And what you are here, what you are there, this is what you get. And you can't have a different, because otherwise it would, dif would be different. But it's not actually, it's the, it, exactly what you're being given, and what you should work with. And guess what, when you're getting with someone else together, and he's upsetting you, what is the first thing we do? And we, wanna, we don't wanna be upset, yeah, or we react. This guy, I'm going to tell him, yeah? But the funny thing is, why are we not saying, thank you very much that you are addressing buttons in me. I barely got addressed, but when I address them, I can let go of them. I can solve them. I can get, go through them. And then I finally say bye-bye to them. See, I've been smoking marijuana for 14 years. And the first thing in the morning was, I want to stop. And the first thing in the evening was, I did it again. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I guess you heard that. Yeah, you have, that ha you have had that with wine, with masturbating, with blaming other people, with anger, with stuff. And it's always the same. I'm sticking to wanting, I'm sticking to wanting and going away. And the thing is, the moment I realized, well, what does it give me? So, do I have to do it or, or what? I, I lost interest in it. And I personally, for me, I don't, you know, I don't know shit about you, but for me personally, I found that it's going away when you do it to the max. Yeah. I mean, do it to the max. I've met many people who've done drugs, and it doesn't matter if it's substances or behavioral mechanisms or anything else. I mean, everything is a drug. We are all attached to this experience called life, and we call it me. But it's not, and so we get addicted to this. And it's cool, yeah? It's really a good thing, 
But in the end, when the box goes down, say bye-bye to it. And that's, you know, where the sacraments come in. They grant you the experience of having it now going away forever. After five hours you come back and then it's there again, but you are not as much worrying about it like before. So, getting back, um, I know I'm crazy, but um, you see, I, it's really about loving that. And, um, uh, oh, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I really don't want to make advertisement for these weekends I'm I'm doing with Jeroen, but they are so cool. And yeah. really, it's man, it's, it's, it's there's a it's a pretty big bunch, you know. Like scream for us that you had a great time. It's really, yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, it's, and, wow. and it's see, it's really uh, 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 what. Uh, Ellen? Ellen, no? No. Ma Mark, yeah. Mark. What, what Mark, I'm sorry, Mark. What, what Mark already said, it's about having fun. It's not about rules, it's about being together. And it's about love. And that's what it's really about. And I tell you something, if you want to do sacraments, be careful with them, do it out of fun, and stop worrying about being a better person, and stop trying to heal yourself or to improve yourself. Life is so fucking perfect, you can't improve yourself. Thank you.